All right, guys, welcome back to uh, installment number four of the Surf PI longboard. And what we're looking at is the today are the uh, sampling pulses and the chip that's involved with that, and also start to look a little bit at, at what feeds into the integrator. So these are the two chips we have, a 4093 and a 4066. And here you see um, the potentiometer that's part of this block. And I'll show you what the different waveforms look like, the different pulses, and then we'll take a look at the schematic and I'll try to do a little bit of explanation about uh, what goes on there. So what we have on the oscilloscope here are on channel 1 this is the output of the preamp and channel 2 this is the sample pulse delay okay this is the delay so This is uh, test point two, and this is test point one. These are the two actual physical test points that are on this board. So, if you recall, I mentioned that we have a potentiometer in this in this uh, part of the circuit. And what I'm going to do is rotate the potentiometer so you can see the actual change that it makes in the pulse delay width. Okay, so where I have it now is approximately the right right location. Um, you, you don't want that to extend too far into the saturation, right? So like I said, this is the delay. The actual pulse, sample pulse, will start right here where the delay ends. And we'll look at that waveform next. Okay, so what we see here is the main sample. All right, and you can see where we had, we're attempting to start the main sample just where we're coming out of saturation on that uh, waveform on channel one. That's the output of the preamp. So we're doing approximately 40 microsecond sample there. So that's what we're looking at is the main sample. All right, so what we have on the screen now um, I've changed the time base here a little bit. We're at uh, 50 microsecond. And the what you see for waveform on channel 2, that's the secondary pulse. Okay, it's at times like this that I wish I had a four channel oscilloscope so that I could show you everything at once. Makes much more sense. But you can see where the uh, what the preamp's doing and like I said, we're at 50 microsecond resolution here, so the secondary pulse is advanced out. All right, so as I stated, we're going to take a brief look at the schematic. And let me once again outline a portion of the circuit that we're looking at. Just to hopefully make it a little bit clearer to everybody. So this is what we have where U4A right here is responsible for the main sample pulse and U4A is one of the parts of the 4093 chip, okay? All the parts in the schematic are broken out. So U4A is the main sample pulse. 
U4B right here generates the secondary sample pulse. So those are the two pulses that get compared with each other. And then uh, obviously the, the difference between the two is, is what you get as your, your uh, goes from the integrator and hits our audio portion. Um, U4C, which we looked at with part of the pot, that's the main sample delay. And U4D is the secondary sample pulse delay. Okay. So A and B, those are the ones that come up here to these two parts of the CD4066. So you've got the, you've got the main sample and the secondary sample. Main sample comes up here. Right, you've got one going to each part of these, this switch. The, the other input into the switch is coming from our preamp, the 5534. That signal is split and it goes into each one of these two switches. And then from there, after the, uh, the different pulses are applied, it gets output into this op amp. And from that op amp, we end up getting our audio. So that, that's a, a, a brief look at what's going on there. So any questions, leave them in the comments. Hopefully that uh, makes it a little bit less daunting for people who are trying to learn about the circuits. Thanks.